Right We Read Podcast, episode number 116. You are listening to the Right to Be Read Podcast, and this is your host, Ani Alexander. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Right to Be Read Podcast, the podcast that inspires and encourages writers. It's me, Ani Alexander. And as always, I'm very happy that you are listening to the show and would be even happier if you'd leave me a review and also subscribe to the show on iTunes because it has enormous role on podcast growth and reputation. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind either of those. So help me out, will you? Well, okay, now we can start the show. And today I'd like to have a short talk about focus. Well, have you heard Jack Ma's quote that says, if there are nine rabbits on the ground, if you want to catch one, just focus on one. Well, looking back, I realized that most of the time I've been chasing all the rabbits. The visible ones, the invisible ones. I looked for new places to spot new rabbits. And as a result, I was doing many different things and getting mediocre results at best. And no surprise that I did not catch any of those rabbits. So, focus has been a challenge for me. And it's mainly because it is difficult for me to choose just one thing to focus on. And deciding what is the most important thing for that moment can be hard. But even when you decide, sticking to it can be even harder. And there are many people fighting for your attention. There are many distractions getting on your way. There is family, there are relatives, there is a social media, the stupid TV, the good weather luring you to go out, the new email that just arrived and you want to reply. And the distractions are endless. They will always take you away from your one chosen thing all the time if you let them. That is why by choosing a goal you want to focus on, you should make that a priority, a top priority. Everything besides that should come after you have completed the task you focused on. If you need good results, you have to be ready to sacrifice. You will need to give up many things or at least postpone them for later if you can't give them up completely. Focus on the most important at the moment. And the most important thing for that moment should be reaching your goal. That means that you need to allocate time and effort on things which will get you closer to that desired result. So, if you have to write a blog post today, for example, start your morning with that task and don't leave your seat until it's done. Don't proceed with anything else before you have your blog post written and completed. Only then you can go ahead and let yourself get distracted after and not before or during. Well, my problem has been that I always had too many things on my plate at the same time. I worked on several projects simultaneously. I did different unrelated things. I did not prioritize things by their importance and pushed myself too hard to do and complete them all. And as a result, many things did not work. I started burning out. And the disappointment was always somewhere around, so I could always see it and it was, you know, lurking around for a while. Now I decided to do the opposite and focus on one rabbit instead. It was a hard decision to make, but I did give up several things I was planning to do. I didn't even start those projects. And no matter how exciting they seemed, I decided to give them up before I started them. So right now, for me personally, publish my book dot today is my top priority. I want to make it work. I want to make it grow and succeed. And I want to keep focused on it until it does. 
So you are welcome to check it out, provide your feedback and let me know what you think about it. So once again, publish my book dot today. And although I told all this and I know the right thing, but I still kept two rabbits though, because I simply could not give up this podcast and let you all down. So think about what projects are you working on. Think about which are important and which can be left for now. And choose the rabbit that you're going to focus on and catch. Well, I guess that was all for today. A reminder about our giveaway once again. If you need a professional book cover, we're giving away three book covers at the moment. So register at www.annealexander.com backwards slash covers and I hope you'll be one of the winners and our professional designers will work on your book cover. So wish you great weekend and a cut rabbit. Take care. Bye.